Hi, Jeff Schubert here with MLM Today. Joining me in studio is Dr. Dwayne Broom, his wife Carolyn Broom, and their daughter Dinej. They're here to talk about their great program, Operation Promise Land. So first, let me welcome Dr. Dwayne Broom to the studio. Thank you for coming in, sir. And please tell me, what is OPL about? Jeff, Operation Promise Land is a group of distributors that have come together, joining their buying power, joining our influence and training and teaching uh, scenarios so that we can best benefit the collective. We're working together as a group. We're working together not independently, but interdependently. We're working together. It's unique because most of the time people in the direct selling industry, they're out there on their own, they're working hard all by themselves. What we're doing, we're working as a community. We're working as a group. We're teaching training and developing people in a very, very simple business model. The key is we're a group. We're not just individuals anymore. We're working together at a time when people need to be able to do something together. A lot of people are afraid right now. It's a perfect time for we to come together as a people and make something happen together. So tell me, Dr. Broom, how with Operation Promised Land, by joining together as groups, what is the advantage to the consumer or to the people working with Operation Promise Land? That's a good question, Jeff. Well, one of the advantages is that as a group, we can teach and train each other. We can work together to explain the simpler processes of the direct selling industry. I believe a lot of times, simple is easier. Does that make sense? Oh, it does, because complicated you know, blows me out of the picture right away. Carolyn, welcome to you to the studio. And can you tell me what exactly does Operation Promise Land do? Well, Operation Promise Land, what we do is we identify individuals who are interested in helping themselves financially. We come together as a community, and as a community, we help one another. We purpose, we have to walk in integrity. We want to instill hope into the hearts of people who right now, they've lost all hope. So we come in as a rescue mission to find people in need and to support them in their entrepreneurial efforts. Now, in the current economic times that we're going through, I certainly know some people who are struggling financially, as I'm sure all of you out there do as well. So what specifically, Carolyn, does Operation Promised Land do to help get these people started? Well, Jeff, what we start with, if someone is interested, they contact us on our website. And from there, we have people who will respond to them. And we try to identify what their goals are, what their desires are. Some people just want to be a part of Operation Promised Land as a member, just to be a part of a community. Others want to get the training that we offer so that they are able to enhance their ability to succeed in the direct selling industry. So our mission is to train people at this time. And it sounds like depending on what an individual's interest level is, there's flexibility as to how they can get involved. Exactly. We want everyone to succeed on their terms, not ours. So we recognize everyone is different, everyone has different goals, and our purpose is to help them succeed. Wonderful. Now, Dinej, I want to welcome you to the studio, and I believe you have some information for me on what is the culture or what is the demographic split of Operation Promised Land? Well, Operation Promised Land in general is very, very evenly split, but in direct selling, the industry is dominated by women, with 87% of the distributors being women. So some big household names could be Avon and Mary Kay that people would recognize as being a direct selling company, and as you can imagine, those distributors are generally women. So this industry is very dominated by women, but with Operation Promised Land, there tends to be an even split. So yeah, I'm a man. Is there opportunity for me within Operation Promised Land? Yes, of course. Nobody is rejected for whatever gender. And of course, there are plenty of opportunities. And it will also depend on which direct selling company that you would like to get involved in. There are plenty of direct selling companies that Operation Promised Land is working with. And nothing is excluded when you discuss Operation Promised Land or the direct selling industry. So it sounds like, Denise, you guys work with a bunch of different companies. Can either you or, or maybe your dad or your mom talk about some of those companies and what types of products you guys are affiliated with or, or that you sell? Well, I'll answer that question, Jeff. Some of the companies we prefer to get involved with at this time tend to fall in the health and nutrition category because we believe in 
doing the right things for our bodies and if we are healthier you're probably going to live a lot longer so that's part of our desire now we cannot make health claims with these companies but most people use vitamins we try to find good companies that have good products and as a result we are able to supply them with a sales force that will gladly sell their products use their products and at the same time share it with new potential customers so we have a number of industries or I should say companies we're involved with but right now they predominantly fall in the health and nutrition segment of the industry wonderful I'm a big proponent of health and nutrition take lots of vitamins myself now Dr. Broom I want to bring you back into the conversation what is the appeal of multi-level marketing I think one of the most important appeals of um, multi-level marketing especially at this time so just a small amount of money to get involved. It doesn't take much money to become uh, a distributor in the direct selling industry. Now, you combine that with a very good uh, business model. One of the things that we have been able to offer our members is a very concise business model that works. It's mathematical. It's not rocket science. You don't have to be uh, the greatest, as they call it, heavy hitter. We're just talking about people who are willing to put forth the effort, work together with another group of people, grouping ourselves together, keeping it simple. So to me, Jeff, one of the most important things is it doesn't take a bank loan to go into multi-level marketing. It takes a person who's willing to work, a person who's willing to communicate, come out of their comfort zone. Right now, not too many comfort zones are that comfortable. And so I really believe it's a, a viable time and it's the price point. It doesn't take much to get started in the direct selling industry. Well, that's important because as we know, not too many banks are giving out loans these days. So that's great that it doesn't take a lot of money to start. But let's just say I'm sitting out there. I've never sold before. I don't know a lot about vitamins and nutrition. Is this something I can be good at? Absolutely. I believe with our program, our strategy, I believe anyone who's willing like you, can be successful with the business model that we have developed. It's nothing new. It was always there. We've just found companies with the business model that we use that our application will work for people who put forth the effort. Jeff, you, anyone, I believe anyone who will can get this done. Uh, you got me convinced, but let me ask you about that effort. Do, do I have to quit my other job if I'm working it, or, or how much time should I expect to put in when I get started with Operation Promised Land? Always we're going to find a time and effort that's going to have a payout, okay? Success has to do with the effort that we put forth, no question. But you know, the amount of time, I would not suggest anyone quitting a job. If they don't have a job, this is a perfect time to get busy in this industry, but don't quit your job. Let this become the part-time income that you develop from the effort, but more importantly, using the strategy that we're going to share with you through watching the, the, the videos on our website. So no, no, don't quit the job at this point. That's not, that's not the, the model that we're looking for. Use them in parallel, simultaneously working the business, working the direct selling industry, and let us show you how to be most successful and gain the most. But then after a little while, when, you're, when you are successful, right, you make all this residual income, and then the idea is hopefully you can quit that other job once this starts to kick in, right? Absolutely. The intent of this is to bring a, a balance to life where you have a residual income coming in, and eventually, you know, following the plan, yes, be able to move into a whole different stream of income. That's very exciting, Doc. Well, I want to get one more question and before we wrap this segment, and I'll ask that to Dinej. How much does multi-level marketing produce in terms of sales per year, since we're talking about money now? This industry annually, just in the U.S., brings in over $30 billion, and internationally, over $100 billion. So this is already a large industry, and with Operation Promised Land, we're just learning how to tap into that industry. Wow, that is great. That is a power pack segment that we're going to wrap up now. But make sure to come on back because I have more information that the brooms are going to share with us. So thanks for tuning into this one, and we'll see you at the next one.